lot of questions that come to mind if you're a fan of both the Persona series and the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series. That question that comes down to, are stands Personas or are Personas stands? Well, I'll give you some conclusive evidence that will prove that Personas are indeed stands. So first we need to look at what stands are as a whole. A stand is an evil spirit that reflects a person's inner desire. The power of the stand usually reflects the personality of the person, and if that doesn't sound too familiar, that sounds exactly like the personas in Persona 4. Now, what do you mean what do I mean when I say they're an evil spirit? Well, it's been confirmed in part three. Just check it out. Listen to this. Seems I've been possessed by an evil spirit. And I've no idea what'll make me do next. Persona. Now you might ask, how does that evil spirit line help in this case? Well, if you look at shadows in Persona, and the Persona series in general, you'll notice something very strange. These shadows might be, or are supposed to be, the demons from the mainline SMT series. Or, you know, the spin-off series, not the Persona one. I mean, nearly all of the art is the same, they have the same weaknesses, but this hasn't been confirmed by the series director Miyazaki yet. So, I think it's safe to say yes, because the shadows might in fact be the origin of demons in the spin-off SMT games. And if you don't believe me, play them for yourself. Why don't you play a real Shin Megumi Tensei game? Now, given that idea that the Personas or the Shadows might be the origin point for the demons in SMT, we now need to look at what the definition of a demon really is. And that definition is an evil spirit. So by that logic, doesn't that mean that Stands are personas? Well, that actually has to do with which came first. Now, if we look at the very first Persona game ever released, Persona 3, please ignore the 3, it was there because it was giving you an idea of the rock, paper, scissors system, it was released in July 13th of 2006, which we can clearly say that Jotaro's Bizarre Adventure came out much before that, and the stands are in, in fact not a ripoff of personas, and it is the other way around. Like, honestly, Oh, Persona is just a complete ripoff of JoJo. I mean, look at the plot of 3. I mean, it's basically the same as JoJo's Part 3. And fuck, look at Persona 4. Solving a mystery? What the fuck? In a, like, fucking shitty town? Dude, that's obviously a ripoff of Persona 4 as well. And if you look at Persona 5, Persona 5, coming out April 4th, pre-order your copy today. You see, it's a total ripoff of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 because it's gonna be the best in the Persona series, just like Part 5 is the best in the JoJo series. What the fuck, Atlas? Get your shit together and stop ripping off Miyazaki. And now, I won't even get into the entirety of, you know, how Demon's Souls is connected to the mainline Persona series since Atlas made it and all the games that Atlas makes fit somewhere inside the huge Persona timeline. Though my thoughts are it applies somewhere in the apocalypse ending of Catherine's final ending, where uh, Vincent becomes the old one. Where I think that's supposed to be a subtle hint or not, but I don't know. Uh, but when Catherine 2 finally comes out, we'll get our final conclusion. But I mean, like, Atlas keeps wasting their time with these bullshit waifu fucking series games like Strange Journey. Like Go. Strange Journey! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Like, who cares? The game already came out. Release a real SMT game. Fuck. But yeah, I think without further ado, I can determine that Personas are indeed stands. And since demons are personas, personas are stands, stands are in fact demons, that means that demons exist on an astral plane, and that means guts can defeat stands. Case closed by Shimonetta.